first of all, it's sure that you have to be convinced that you, that you love your question. That you have to be convinced it's of interest or something to, to really to find there. And uh, so that is point number one. The advice to, as I always say, to love what you do. To be motivated. If you're not that, it's a little bit dry doing research and you know the days are long and uh, if you don't uh, really see how it progresses, that's question number one. Question number two, uh, advice is of course uh, uh, knowing, realizing that you're not alone. There are many people around you who do th similar things, different things, or things which can help you uh, advance and be in contact with the literature without drowning yourself in literature. I mean, there's so much being published now. If you follow everything, then you're drowned. Going to meetings uh, and uh, and again, not going to all meetings because you're drowned again and you spend your time going to meetings listening to what other people do and not doing anything yourself. So, um, but there are, those are just general thoughts. And uh, normally at your stage you should have a supervisor or an advisor, whatever you call it. And he's going to, he, I would suppose, has a broader view of uh, the field in which he got you involved and then uh, uh, trying to, to go on that way and then um, being open to all new developments, technological developments, and then work hard. I'm sorry, but that is, uh, there's no secret. You see? There's in, actually, in no job. I mean, I said to Mr. Smith yesterday that I come from a family of farmers and butchers, and they worked very hard. 